Hey, Pablo, first off, congratulations on the win. Uh, how does it feel to be moving on to the next round of the U.S. Open Cup? Yeah, it feels great. Um, and, and I'm sure that the, the, the guys feel amazing. You know, I think it's a tough start to the campaign. And with that being said, uh, we wanted to prioritize the U.S. Open Cup. And, and I think um, oftentimes you look at this as this cup as, as, a, as, a, as a tough one to really commit to, um, given the, uh, the regular season schedule. But what we found um, with our group is giving players the opportunities that, that weren't getting the minutes has inspired them to become you know, better teammates, better players. Um, and it just feels so good to have so many people contribute um, because at the end of the day, it's about team. And I talk about that all the time. And, and when you can actually uh, deliver and, and as far as giving everyone a shot um, and, and regardless of who's on the field, the team plays well and more importantly gets a result, um, it's, it's a really great feeling to have. And now that you guys are looking at a quarterfinals, you know, you're starting to the final eight, what, what does that do to the team's confidence? How are you guys feeling and heading into being, being a team? Are you guys confident that you guys can make, continue that run? Uh, you know, I, I think we have to take it one game at a time. I, I, I think tonight would be a good, good uh, you know, moment to, to enjoy the victory and then, and then move forward. And obviously we have Minnesota at the weekend, which is a team in, in great form. But, you know, I think uh, the, the way we've kind of handled it is, is never looking beyond the next game. Um, and, and the players that are healthy, the players that haven't logged a lot of minutes um, have, have contributed. And, and so it really feels um, like we're in, we're in a great way. Uh, obviously, we, we, we play a tough LA Galaxy team who I'm sure are going to bring a, a, a fantastic group um, to, you know, to AFF. And so it'll be a, a great challenge for us. Um, but one, I think at the moment that uh, it feels good to be where we're at. And obviously, it's, it's, we haven't done anything yet. And so the, the onus is on us to continue to, to play together, work hard, and, and, and get results. Awesome. And lastly for me, Pablo, real quick. Um, you guys, there was a five-goal uh, five game on the weekend against Colorado. This one, there's only the one in it. Um, what's kind of difference, the difference between that game and this game and what made it, um, what made it just, to just have that one-goal difference? It's, it's the game of soccer. Uh, there's, no, there's no explanation to anything in soccer. You can try to, you know, you know, magic things up, but the truth is you have 11, 11 against 11, and there's, there's a lot that has to be said about game state as well. When you go up two goals, um, you're a bit more, rel not relaxed, but there's not this uh, impetus to, to stay disciplined um, at times. And, and I think we got beat on two set pieces. We addressed those uh, after the last game and the guys were fantastic in and, and, and dead ball moments. And, and, and credit, again, credit to the guys really, you know, against, for me, the best uh, set piece team in the league. So um, every game's got its own flavor. Every, every, every game, it's its own event. No two games will ever look alike. Even if you play these guys in three more days, the score won't be the same um, and the game won't be the same. But what I'm proud of is the way the guys managed uh, this game and, and holding on to the 1-0 lead. Hey, thanks, Pablo. Caleb, you're up. Yeah, uh, Sava ended up being, being the, the difference for you guys tonight with that goal he scored, uh, making his debut in the tournament this year. Can you, I was wondering if you could kind of walk us through the, the decision-making um, and having him stay at home for those first two Open Cup games and then bringing him along uh, for this one? Yeah, well, obviously, again, I think a big part of it's rotation uh, with a congested schedule. Uh, he didn't play in the last game. Uh, you know, he's, he had some, um, s some issues at home that, were, that are really important. Um, but, but again, I think getting players and keeping players sharp is, is, is really important, and that's why he played today. And uh, it's, it's, it's not just this game, it's, it's for the season. We, we need Saba performing at the level with the intensity, with the quality, with his, with his leadership that he displayed tonight. That's, that's the top level. And uh, his, his quality speaks for itself. And when he's engaged and disciplined and demanding uh, defensively as well, uh, you know, the first goal came from a great def defensive setup and, uh, you know, Ando blocked it and, and, and Saba did the rest. But, um, this is a Saba that, that has the, the capacity to really drive this group forward. Yeah, and then talking about that deflection that, uh, that Anderson got, um, you 
you're definitely one, one to preach uh, the, the, the press and pressing high against that, that back line, which is what he was doing. He got the deflection and ended up being a goal. Um, is that kind of, you know, exactly what you're looking for out of a guy like Julio? Yeah, you know, again, when I say team, I mean everyone attacks and everyone defends as a group, right? And I think those guys up front do a really good job. And again, their role isn't to necessarily do what, you know, Ando did this game or what Danny did in the last game that, that, that spurred our, I think, our second or third goal. But both of those plays come from those guys up front selflessly giving everything for the group defensively, which is not always asked. And I, and I think um, when you see this over and over again, and I can go back to Charlotte, I can go to San Jose, all our best plays come in transition from good defending positions. Um, and, and so um, for me, it's just being dialed in. Is the game, and I talk about the game being a game of moments, um, and you never know when those moments are gonna, are gonna reward you, and you never know when those moments defensively are gonna cost you. And so being engaged for 90 minutes, it's a big ask, but the guys did it in spades tonight. And then lastly, I just wanted to ask you about Gavin. Um, you know, there, I'm sure there's a lot of ways that you could try to bring on an, an, an 18 year old goalkeeper. I um, mean, a lot of ways that, that could go wrong, but tonight, I mean, he gets a clean sheet on the road in a big tournament game. Um, just how, how, how big has his development been just in such a short period of time? Yeah, no, I think, you know, I, I think looking back at the beginning of the season, you know, putting him in the Columbus game uh, probably wasn't the best decision. Um, going on the road and, and, really going up against probably one of the most prolific scoring teams in the league. Um, but but always was thinking that the Open Cup is a great opportunity. And obviously starting off with Las Vegas, uh, I think gave him a lot of confidence and, and belief in himself. You know, I think he's a, he's, he's a kid that has, he's a young man that has a, a very high ceiling. And, and obviously goalkeeping is, is very nuanced, positioning, um, seeing the plays. And, and you can see these same plays at, at a lower level and, and your positioning isn't going to kill you. Um, but at this level with, with the players that, that he's up against, everything has to be you know, spot on. And, and tonight he made a couple big saves um, and I think he's going to keep growing. Um, again, I think he's, he's taken the necessary steps to, to, to grow into his own. Uh, but tonight I thought he had a fantastic performance. Awesome, thanks. Sean? Yeah, I, I was just going to ask you a little bit about that clean sheet and, and Beavers too, but also uh, just what, what can you say about this back line, Jay Glad coming back into the lineup and, and Marcelo makes his kind of open cup debut, I guess, for a little bit there in the second half, just to be able to come together for the second time in the same place with the travel in between uh, in four days to pick up that clean sheet. What's it kind of say about that? As well. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, everyone plays with a great deal of pride on both sides of the ball. Obviously, the guys in the back are always going to be uh, judged upon uh, upon defending first. And uh, we, we got a group of guys that work so hard for each other. Um, you know, I think in the waning moments of the game, you know, you see Marcelo sprinting out in the wide channels, putting pressure, and you see Brody and Pablo and Jay Glad sliding across and getting to the ball. Um, defending for me is, is, is always about team. And, and those guys in the back have really made it uh, very difficult for teams at times and, and, and other times, you know, not so difficult. But the most important thing is, is that they're so receptive uh, to growing, to becoming um, better defenders. And as a collective, you got great leadership in the back line with Jay Glad and, and Marcelo and, and Barry coming under the zone. And then, you know, a guy like Emeka, uh, who, who's played on two positions, two or three different positions for us this year um, and handled the zone. And so you're seeing the maturation process um, in all different phases of, of professional careers. Uh, but the most important thing is, is the pride and the willingness they had to work for one another. Carlos? Pablo, quizás lo más destacado, creo yo, aparte de la clasificación del equipo, es la mentalidad con la que se jugó el partido, ¿no? por parte de, de tu grupo, de, de lo que planteaste hoy. Sí, sí, muy contento. Supimos que iba a ser un partido difícil, especialmente con, con jugar el mismo equipo en cuatro días. Siempre no se ve cómo, cómo van a salir las cosas, y, pero antes que iniciamos hablamos de la mentalidad, que estos partidos contra, contra el rival más grande eh, es más que táctica, es más que técnica. 
es, un, es una mentalidad, cuando perdemos el balón, luchamos para ganar el balón. Si no, si no podemos ganar el balón, no, nos metemos atrás del balón para, para recuperar. Y hoy día eh, tuvimos varios chances, pero la mentalidad fue, fue, fue lo más importante para nuestro grupo. Y además no es fácil, digamos, que la gente asuma esa mentalidad cuando hay rotaciones encima, ¿no? Aceptar con, con que el equipo no se te caiga con respecto a hace tres días y con lo que tú tienes que venir después, ¿no? Sí, o sea, yo siempre hablo de que somos un equipo y es muy fácil decir que somos un equipo y jugar 15 jugadores. Yo creo que a este momento hemos jugado 25 o 26 jugadores diferentes en los dos campeonatos y estoy muy, muy contento cuando alguien sale, el que entra en la cancha mantiene el nivel y para mí eso es lo más importante y todos estos partidos nos da confianza para el próximo y ahora tenemos un desafío grande contra Venezuela. Yo creo que siempre hay que jugar como todavía no sos el equipo, o que no somos el equipo que queremos ser. O sea, siempre hay que estirar para pa, pa, pa adelante, siempre hay que mejorar en todas las fases de, del juego. Y para mí eso es lo más importante, porque este es un campeonato largo y si, si nos hacemos mal con cada derrota y no encontramos los, los, eh, la, la, los problemas y no lo, no lo hablamos como un equipo y no intentamos a mejorar, perder partido sin... como no hay... No, no hay o sea, cuando estamos en esa racha mal. Eh, Nunca hablamos de, de la derrota, hablamos de la manera que queremos mejorar. Y en este partido hay cosas que queremos mejorar. Y en el último partido también, y hacemos el video, trabajamos, pero para mí tengo un grupo de, de jugadores que son muy honestos, muy sencillos, y todos queremos los mismos, que, que queremos ganar algo. Pablo, ¿qué tan importante es para ustedes, para lo que viene, dos victorias contra un rival clásico? Sí, yo creo que es muy importante para la confianza del grupo. Eh, no hablamos mucho del rival, o sea, sabemos que es un, eh, son, son lo, lo, los rivales más grandes que tenemos, pero para mí es seguir mejorando en nuestro estilo, la mentalidad, el esfuerzo y que queremos ser ganadores. Y yo creo que este, estos dos partidos nos dan mucha confianza, pero como, como dije antes, el próximo tenemos que mostrar el, la, el mismo calidad que, que mostramos esta noche. Quedan tres partidos que se saben pueden ser para alzar una copa. Obviamente la meta principal es la MLS, pero ya estando tan cerca se motiva con esta ayuda eso un poco, un poco más. Yo, yo creo que sí. Ahora, ahora con tres partidos puede jugar en el Champions el año pasado, el año que viene. Y, y eso, eso es muy importante para, para los jugadores, para los entrenadores, para el club. Y es una, es una meta que cuando arran, arran, arrancamos el, el campeonato dijimos que queremos, 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 poner, queremos hacer buen trabajo en esta copa y ahora estamos en un, un momento muy importante porque la liga es importante pero también eh, la, la copa también es muy importante. Así tenemos que ir para adelante y con, con la misma mentalidad. Gracias. Pablo, uh, para 1650 AM Radio La Red Denver, felicidades por la victoria. Gracias. Un equipo compacto, mucha química, movido en bloque. Uh, por el momento la sensación daba que el marcador se podía abrir un poco más. ¿Cuál es la clave? ¿Cuál fue la clave de este juego principalmente? Yo, yo creo que, que sabemos que son un equipo muy dinámico, especialmente en la banda. Y yo creo que para mí manejamos los momentos en transición muy buena, o sea, lo, lo, los pibes se, se metieron atrás del balón, pero con un deseo, con, un, con una gana que, que no he visto hasta este momento. Y para mí, eh, yo creo que esa parte de nuestro juego fue, fue, fue el clave. Sí, tú hablas de mentalidad y las sensaciones en el vestuario antes, durante el entretiempo, ¿Cuáles son, las, ¿Cuáles son esas sensaciones? ¿Cuál es ese, ese mensaje que, que tú le das a tu jugador? Eso, eso, 
ar arrancamos con ese mensaje cuando empezamos pretemporada y, y eso es fundamental para nuestro grupo que, que queremos ganar y perder como un equipo y a veces tener jugadores eh, como Saba en otros equipos a lo mejor no defiende tanto eh, pero para mí me da un, me, 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 me da un gusto que el gol que, que hizo fue porque él y el Ando defendieron como muy bravo y ganaron el balón. Y esos son los chances. Cuando, cuando la defensa está desorganizada, es, es el momento donde podemos hacer mucho daño con, con el equipo que tenemos. Y, 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 pero la mentalidad, si, si juegas en este equipo, es fundamental. Muchísimas gracias. Felicidades. Cómo no.